everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to take a look at the dinosaurs who actually lived in Jurassic Park according to the 1990 novel Jurassic Park written by Michael Crichton. There is so much insight, extra information and differences the book contains when compared to the 1993 motion picture and it's a great read. In the control room, John Arnold, actually named Ray Arnold and played by Samuel L. Jackson in the movie, explained to the park guests that every 15 minutes the computer tallies all the animals in all the categories in the park with the use of sensors throughout the park. Hold on to your butts. After he tells the computer to search for 238 animals, which is how many animals are in the park, this is what he finds. The expected number of animals and how many animals the sensors actually find, totaling 238. So let's take a quick look at these animals. Two Tyrannosaurs. It's obvious why they call this monster King of the Lizards. But during this time at Jurassic Park, there were actually two Tyrannosaurs. There was the large female, which we all call Rexy, and also there was a young juvenile, both of which kept their distance from each other. 21 Myosaurs. These were large herbivorous duckbill dinosaurs whose name means good mother lizard and they could grow up to 30 feet in length. Next up, four stegosaurs. Fun fact, in the film the visitors stumble upon a sick triceratops but in the book they actually encounter a sick stegosaur. Is this West Indian lilac? And these guys could weigh up to 6,800 pounds. Eight triceratops. Notable for its three horns to protect itself from the T-Rex who lived in the same time period as the triceratops, both in the late Cretaceous period. 49 Procomsognathus, or Compi for short. It's just beef. Good. These guys were released in large numbers so they could take care of the herbivore fecal matter problem throughout the park, and the little poo munchers could grow up to 3 feet long. 16 Othnelia. This relatively small 5 to 6.5 foot bipedal herbivore was seen by the visitors lounging in the trees during the tour. 8 Velociraptors. <laughs> Meaning swift seizure in Latin, these cheetah fast smart little devils spook the visitors by attacking them through an electric fence upon first seeing them, showing both their speed, coordination, and fierceness. <sighs> Okay. 17 Apatosaurs. These were actually the first dinosaurs the group saw, not a Brachiosaur as depicted in the movie, which was actually not even featured on the island. Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard because some of the bones looked like those of the large aquatic Mosasaurus. These guys did however make their debut in Jurassic World. 11 Hadrosaurs. Meaning bulky or large lizard, Hadrosaurus was a herbivore living in the late Cretaceous period. Nobody had ever mounted a dinosaur skeleton before until the first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton was discovered. The Hadrosaurus. Seven Dilophosaurus. <laughs> In the motion picture, this dinosaur was the first stop on their tour, but sadly was a no-show. The Dilophosaurus did however make an appearance to see Dennis Nedry, spitting a black tar-like venom at him. <laughs> and in the book, however, this tar was described as a white foam. Six Pterosaurs. Pterosaur is the common term for a winged lizard. With no flying lizards seen in the original movie, we did see some pteranodons seen in Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, and Jurassic World, starring in key scenes making up for their absence in the original film. 33 Hypsilophodontids. These are a potentially invalid family of ornithopod dinosaurs, meaning bird feet. Early ornithopods were only about three feet long running on their hind legs and later versions adapted to grazing on all fours curving their spines. I like to think that the early bipedal versions in this family look like the Gallimimus, but I'm not a dinosaur expert so I don't know. 16 Euplocephalids. Meaning well-armored head, this is one of the largest genres of ankylosaurian dinosaurs living during the late Cretaceous period in Canada. Homestretch 18 Styracosaurs. This was a type of herbivorous ceratopsian in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means spiked lizard and has probably one of the coolest skulls ever. And finally, hate babies, don't want a stinky dog, Microceratops, the best pet you could ever own. If I saw this in real life, I'd probably have to steal it. And I would gladly accept the consequences. There were 22 of these little guys, and what can I say? They were herbivores, walked on two legs, and they were cute as a button. So that, guys, is the exact number and the exact dinosaurs that were meant to be in Jurassic Park according to the novel. However, when John Arnold expanded his search number to 300 animals instead of the expected 238 animals, the censors counted 292 animals! The number of compies and velociraptors increased greatly because the dinosaurs were breeding unbeknownst to them. Turns out, filling gaps in the dinosaurs' gene sequence with amphibian frog DNA allowed the dinosaurs to change their sex in some instances, allowing the all-female group to breed. Only the five groups who increased in number contained the actual frog DNA. The others didn't. Later, another tally was taken and the numbers of dinosaur groups dwindled, mirroring a natural predator-prey interaction, or reaching a true Jurassic equilibrium, as Dr. Grant put it. I found a way 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you knew that there were actually supposed to be two Tyrannosaurs in the park. Pretty cool little tidbit. That is one big pile of shit. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, unless if I get invited for Chinese food. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.